What's going on, everybody? Born AK Hockey. I wanted to record this quick video just because I had some thoughts just piling up in my head, and I wanted to discuss them related to the San Diego Potters in the upcoming trade deadline. Here's the situation. There is no doubt that this Padres team is riddling and spiraling out of control right now. They've lost eight out of their last 10 games. Their offense has been pathetic, and what we have learned is that when this starting pitching drops up from perfect to average, this team truly gets exposed. It's not just their lack of slug. It's their lack of good plate appearances. They're too high on the strikeouts. And they, quite frankly, the situation is they don't have enough pop, quite frankly, any pop in this lineup. So in this video, I want to put on our GM thinking cap and see if we're AJ Preller, what can we do? Let's consider worst case scenarios and talk about how can this team improve majorly, not just minorly, or else they ain't going to do anything this year in order to not only keep his job, but to help try and put this Padre team in a position to win a World Series. If you're new to the channel, I hope you subscribe. My name's Born AK Hog. I talk about the San Diego Padres after every single game on our notorious Hog Dre's post game shows. We have breakdowns, analysis, players on the channel, Jeff Passons of the Worlds on the channel. So come along, hit the subscribe button, turn on those post bell notifications so you know when Hogster is going live. So I was thinking about it, and we are all sick and tired of Eric Hosmer in San Diego. That is old news. We all know that. The two-time gold glover has been anything but in his tenor with the San Diego Padres. His inability to play good defense at first base, his inability to elevate the ball. He's hit one home run in his last 140 plate appearances. His inability to, you know, hit the ball the other way, to slug. He just hasn't been good. The only thing remaining that's keeping him in town, apparently, is his clubhouse demotion, his clubhouse love with his fellow teammates and leaders like Manny Machado. But being a small market in San Diego, this team's 100% financially handicapped because of Eric Hosmer's $20 million owed to him this year and the subsequent $13 million per year over the next three next year. Here's something very significant related to Eric Hosmer. If he remains a Padre throughout this season, he's going to have his 10-5 rights triggered in, meaning that he can veto any trade that comes his way. The 10-5 rights means that he's had 10 years of Major League service. This is year number 10. And five of those 10 years have been with the same Major League team. This is year five with the San Diego Padres. So the question is, Hog, the Padres need to make moves, but they can't make any moves if Siler doesn't want them to break the luxury tax. What can they do? Well, it starts with trading Eric Hosmer, but how are you going to do so if you don't want to give up a C.J. Abrams, a Robert Hassel of the world? That shifts our attention to Blake Snell. Blake Snell is somebody that you can 100% package with Eric Hosmer and maybe a Luis Campisano in order to offload Hosmer. And you're not only offloading Eric Hosmer, but Blake Snell sneakily has a lot of money on his deal. $12.5 million this year, $16 million next year. That brings you down $32 million this year on the luxury tax. Will Myers coming off the books next year is another $20 million coming off the books. That gives you $50 plus million of financial relief just for those three guys getting out of town. Blake Snell has a ton of potential, a ton of stuff but potential doesn't always translate to success and while it has in Tampa Bay it hasn't in San Diego it's time for the Padres to move on from both and last but not least Luis Campisano has been rotting in AAA it's time for the Padres to move on what that does is it allows the Padres to extend Joe Musgrove but now the question is why are we doing this what are we going to get for Eric Hosmer if we trade him at the deadline? Ding, 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 ding. The answer is Josh Bell. This is a guy where I've, you know, been talking to some people and trying to read more a little bit about that the Padres are monitoring Josh Bell of the Washington Nationals. I want to shout out Friar Bad, a great follow on Twitter, who was kind of monitoring and talking about the Padres and related to Josh Bell saying that this team should always trade for him going back to last year, where his advanced numbers were absolutely insane. And he was kind of beginning to break out last year. But you take a look at this year for, this year for Josh Bell. I mean, it's just having an incredible year for the product, you know, out of Texas. A three and a half war season already halfway through. He has 47 ribs, 12 home runs. He's batting 320 and he has an OPS plus of something insane of like a 100 i think what is it 160 plus this year's ops plus is which is incredible i mean incredible stuff from josh bell so far this year this is the guy this is the guy that's a switch hitter you can get hosmer out of town and i'm not saying you got to trade hosmer snow at the nationals you can do another trade there but just finding a way to get those two out of town you bring this guy in who's a rental he's not going to cost a ton of prospect capital number one number two you're able to save 50 million dollars you're able to re-sign joe if you want you can re-sign mania you're able to get under that luxury tax not only you trade hosmer not only you trade snell you obtain josh bell who's a big time bat and 
you have a lot more money under the salary under the, under the CBT this year to be more aggressive and make more moves. AJ Preller, you have 26 days at the time of recording this video to save your job. You need to move some pillars here. You can't be moving pieces of hay. It's time to go all in. And this is the trade deadline that's going to make or break AJ Preller's tenor in San Diego. So a quick recap of kind of what I'm thinking here again. We, I want to talk about one more thing related to Josh Bell and the San Diego Padres is that here's the thing with Josh Bell. He's 29. He's hitting 318, which is insane. 12 home runs, 47 ribs. He's too valuable to just be playing anywhere. The Nats, the Nats are going nowhere. He's improved immensely with his plate selection. He's striking out at a much lower rate. And the, the Nationals will be looking for a lot of prospects, you know, in this return. But he's a legitimate bat. You can put at the middle of your order. Middle of the order. Oh, and by the way, he's a switch hitter. So here's the deal. The Nationals are in shambles. They've already cleaned house in the last year. Juan Soto's in shambles. We don't know what they're doing. But if you package Blake Snell and Luis Campisano with Eric Hosmer, you have a ton of financial flexibility. Blake Snell has not been great for this Padres team. He's been mentally draining on us fans, mentally draining on the media guys, including Bob Scanlon. <laughs> there you go on that front. Eric Hosmer, not much more needs to be said about him. Luis Campisano is still deemed very valuable by a lot of rival executives. The issue is the Padres don't play him because I guess we're still infatuated with Austin Nola. So those are three guys that may have value, not Eric Hosmer, to other teams but not really internally. So that makes sense to check on our boxes. Josh Bell, even if it's a different trade, 100% needs to be a San Diego Padre. It makes all the sense in the world. And Padres fans, if this team remains in the bottom five and slugging this year, I'm sorry. We're not going to have good results. That's my little rant video. I want, you to, I want you to let me know what you think down below. In addition to that, I'll be coming out with my first Padres trade rumors videos in terms of position players coming out tomorrow about 9 a.m. Pacific time, maybe a bit later. So if you're new to the channel, once again, consider joining the San Diego Padres Hogdrays YouTube membership. Hit the join button next to the subscribe button. Smash the like button on this video. Follow me on my social media, as you can see pinned on these overlays. Subscribe to the channel. It's been your boy Hog, everybody. Let's make some moves, because we need to do so now. Peace.